fifth and the first an internet miraculous ladybug fan fiction part six it was a long difficult road to get them to this day a very long one indeed but adrian was so glad that they had taken that time as much as he wished for more of it he appreciated how everything worked out how everything had led up to this very moment are you nervous Nino asked, leaning in to whisper quietly. Adrian nodded just the slightest bit. Very, but mostly excited, he muttered back. The moments felt like a um, the moments felt like millennials. When would she come? This was a near ten years in the making. All in truthfulness, he wanted to run into the room himself, scoop her up in his arms and elope to stay forever, to stay together forever. Adrian was excited to marry her in front of all of their loved ones, yes, that was for sure, but he was just being madly impatient at the moment. When the gentle piano melody began to play, Adrian had just barely been able to contain the sheer excitement inside of him and the urge to just bolt to her side. Her pretty smile grew as she came closer. Adrian had no doubt that the same could be said for him. His cheeks were kind of hurting, because he was just smiling so widely. After what felt like an eternity, she finally stood in front of him. She was so close. Her hands were, were clasping the bouquet of flowers, and her eyes were already brimming with shining tears. Adrian reached his hand out to ghost past and wiped the tears away, earning a small laugh from her. We're doing this, aren't we? Finally, he said in a whisper. She just barely mouthed the words, Yeah, back with the brightest smile. Thank you all for coming to this wonderful celebration. We are all gathered here to, to unite Adrian Grass and Aaron at Dupan Chang. A wail rang out through the guests. It was either Tom or Gorilla. That was his best guess, followed by a collective chuckle from the rest of the audience. Adrian felt his own smile tug, and his vision seemed to both blur and sharpen at the same time. All he could see was Marinette, only her in front of him, looking like the most beautiful person who had ever walked the earth. Everything around her was fuzzy and unimportant. The sun had seemed to have given her an unearthly glow, as if the light had created a halo just for her. Whatever identities were up there watching him, they had put her in his life and he was eternally grateful for it. In truth, the words of the officiant barely registered and Adrian nearly missed his cue to speak his vows. Everyone was very much amused, especially Marinette. Um, I... I met you over ten years ago. You hated me. Hard to imagine, right? Adrian said with a laugh. Everyone seemed to think back and smile fondly and nudge each other. Truthfully, it was hard for Adrian to think of a time where they weren't in love. But then, I gave you my umbrella. And we still have it, he continued. Marinette mouthed the words, yeah, we do. She was far too teary-eyed to really speak. And, yeah, they did. It was a prized possession of theirs. I also met you that day when we were superheroes. I was gone the first day I met you. The moment you swung away, it was when my heart was stolen and I never got it back since. I don't need it though. <laughs> he took in a breath to compose himself. But to be clear, I was sorta an idiot kid, Adrian said, earning laughs all around. Black's little voice seemed to reign over everyone in a droll, stating that, yes, yes, he was. I have been in love with you for as long as any of us can remember. But I had no idea. I always thought that we were just friends and all the crushing and held over heels feelings were just platonic, Adrian said. Marinette jokingly rolled her eyes. Luckily, everyone else had brain cells. More laughs. Our friends and family caught on to every time I was so clearly in love with you but just didn't know it. The time we went on that field trip and I snuck off with you to see that one wing we weren't supposed to go to. And then we were caught. <laughs> the time I recreated your favorite movie scene just for your 16th birthday. 
Adrian had to stop for just a moment to compose himself, to wipe away any tears making his vision go more and more blurry. God, it was actually happening and it was just now hitting him? What an absolute dream. I was so gone for you and it's so funny to look back and know that I really had no idea, much to Alia and Nino's annoyance. The brunettes sitting, standing next to him both muttered how he was an absolute tool growing up with no concepts of social skills. They certainly weren't wrong, as much as that stung. All I'm saying is that I haven't ever not loved you from the moment we met to now, and I won't ever stop loving you. It was safe to say that everyone was crying their eyes out, especially Adrian himself. He never truly saw himself himself that he never he never truly saw himself there from the past, but no, he was. All of his wildest dreams were coming true. He was marrying Marinette, the woman of his dreams. After Marinette spoke her vows shakily, but she got through them, the rest of the ceremony was a blur. Even as the officiant said, you may kiss the bride, Adrian nearly pounced to kiss Marinette. There were loud whoops and cheers and cries, people saying how their endgame had finally happened. Whatever people said, Adrian didn't really know. All he knew was that this perfect girl that he held in his arms was now his life-long partner and wife. Forever. God... Adrian was so in love with Marinette.